Kansas lawmakers are closer now to passing a ban on transgender athletes being able to compete in women's and girls state sponsored sports. But even if you're not transgender, experts say this ban could affect you too. A Cake Senior political reporter Pilar Pedraza is here to explain that. Pilar. Well, as with most things, it comes down to money. And political analysts tell us that passing a ban now before we know a federal law will let bans stand could be an expensive proposition. In addition to being forced to give up our awards and our titles and our opportunities, the NCAA forced female swimmers to share a locker room with Thomas, a six foot four, 22 year old male equipped with and exposing male genitalia. They came from Let around the country and across the state. So she'll be forced into a period that she does not want, but that she's going to feel tortured and trapped within her own body as her voice deepens and her facial hair grows. That's for her own good that she's going to grow up to hate herself and looking in the mirror will cause her more pain than you can ever imagine. Sharing their perspectives as athletes, transgender women, parents and doctors with Kansas lawmakers for a second time this year, a second year in a row on a plan to ban transgender athletes from competing in state sponsored sports from kindergarten through college. The rules of the game change when playing co-ed sports because you're playing with biological males who are, are on average, taller, faster, and stronger. Last year, the governor vetoed an almost identical proposed ban, and the Kansas House was unable to overturn that veto. This year, the ban has already passed the House with a veto-proof majority, and the Senate Education Committee Tuesday advanced the bill to the full Senate for debate. Some, from opponents to political analysts, call this move legislative overreach, almost a power grab by lawmakers. When the sports organizations like Keisha already have regulations in place on when transgender athletes can compete. And for the legislature to just cancel that and say, no, you don't know what you're doing. We're going to legislate this instead is uh, uh, a big change in governance. If Kansas approves this ban, it would become the 19th state to do so. Several of those states are already involved in expensive and long lasting lawsuits over the legislation. I think you can make a strong argument for waiting. Uh, first of all, if the lawsuits are brought in federal court, they would presumably apply to all the states. And Dr. Smith says this time we're not seeing the threats of pulling out of competitions from groups like the NCAA like we have in previous years when other transgender issues have come up. He says that's because so many states are looking at these athletic bans that boycotts have simply become too logistically difficult to pull off. Pilar Pedraza, Cake News, on your side.